Alright everybody, I hope this is working. I am attempting to stream uh, simultaneously on Twitch and YouTube at the same time, so hopefully it works for everybody. I can't actually see... I can see it. Oh, there it is. Okay, it just popped up on Twitch and YouTube seems to be doing alright. Okay, so this is a new game came out and just... Uh, a couple of days ago, called The Valley. Probably should have used a slightly more um, unique name, because there's like too many games with Valley in them, but anyway. I played a little bit uh, earlier and it's pretty fun. So let's check it out. I guess we'll be male, I don't know what difference that makes. And by the way, regardless of whether you are watching on Twitch or on YouTube, I should be able to see you, the chat for both, so should be fun. The Life Seed is said to contain an incredible earth-shattering power, while mostly written off as myth, some archaeologists are still determined to track down the elusive item, luring some to incredibly ro remote locations. This game does have a Oh, hey, I'll let this play. Looks like I missed you. I just wanted to wish you luck before you headed out. I still can't believe you're doing this. I mean, hunting down the... What was it? The Life Seed? You gotta admit, that sounds crazy. I mean, even if this mythological thing that can shatter worlds or whatever actually exists, what are the chances of you tracking down this ancient relic in the middle of the Rocky Mountains? Listen, I know you want to prove the thing exists. I, I get that. It's an adventure. Hell, it's your career, but... Can't you do something normal like the rest of us and just backpack Europe or something? Spend a month in Thailand? But hey, if by some miracle you find this thing and become the most famous archaeologist of all time, beers are on me. I'll even trade in your tinfoil hat for a whip and fedora. I just really hope all those canoeing lessons pay off. Remote region, Canadian Rockies. And useless to scout canoeing lessons. Right. Hang on a second. Seems like no matter how low I set the volume, it's still ridiculously loud. So there are a couple of issues that I found uh, so far with the game in case anybody is interested in, uh, in buying it. Uh, the mouse sensitivity is like insane. I mean, as you can see, I have it set all the way to the bottom, and then I change the DPI. Fortunately, my vi my uh, mouse has uh, custom DPI settings. I set it to the lowest I can set it to, and it's still pretty touchy. I don't know why it's like that, but anyway. Yeah, as you can see, it's like ridiculously fast. I gotta try to be deliberate about how I move the mouse. Yeah. Ruins? Cave drawings? Where am I? Game generally runs pretty smooth, I find, even on my computer that's, you know, a good two years old. It's really quite lovely.
Lots of orbs. Gonna pick those up for energy later. Weird little green spirit things? I don't know. I'm not sure if they're friendly. I mean, they haven't... They didn't kill, try to kill me as far as I had played, but, uh, you know. You never know. Maybe later. So now you can jump higher. Virginia King, Audio Journal, June 4th, 1941. Shortly after the outbreak of war in Europe, I was enlisted by the army to study the history of this valley. The mysterious forest sprites seem to be the last living remnants of the long-lost culture that once lived here. A large number of them seem to inhabit the northeast sector of the valley, just past the ruins where the life seed, rumored... Run down slopes to gain momentum to jump higher and further. To possess an earth-shattering power was found. That's as good a place as any to study them. Yeehaw! In some ways, the game uh, kind of re reminds me a bit of a story, a story about my uncle. Leaping through the air. Energy stored within the leaf suit, known as Amrita, Amrita, can be given to once living things. Energy is low, of course it is. Ah, and then we can collect enough acorns to gain access through an certain ancient doorways. Isn't that crazy? You can like return things to life. Oh, I guess I'm going up there.
sail through the air again. And running downhill like a crazy person. Life can also be taken from nearby living things rich in energy, such as a tree or animal, to replenish your suit. Less robust life forms, such as blades of grass, provide no value. I'll take life. Kind of creepy. Seems like these fire flies react to energy. Apparently. The army calls this valley Area 634. But I've ascribed a new word for it. Susurus. The beauty of that word seems to rival the majesty of this place. I suppose that would make its ancient inhabitants officially known as Susurians. on the continent. They seem to have infused the life energy from trees into their infrastructure, but how? Seems pretty cool. Note from a Pathfinder, I could watch these sprites all day. I don't I can't believe how friendly they are. Brave enough to come right up to us. I guess they have no reason to fear us. We aren't natural predators to them. Energy capacity is increased with capacitor upgrades. Find four to complete an energy canister. Oh, come on. Up, up. Get up there. Hmm, more cave drawings. I can't get up there now, but if I come back here... That's yeah, probably not relevant. Oh, I'm stuck. Are you serious? Come on. No, oh, you need another one. Oh, down here. Luckily for me, the military is helping to explore all these ruins through the soldiers' pilot and leaf suits. They call these soldiers Pathfinders since they can trek through terrain normally inaccessible to someone like me. Every guy back home is going to want to go joyriding in a leaf suit. But until the military's project comes to a close, we're cut off from any contact outside the valley. I guess the world will have to wait just a bit longer to get their hands on these rides. Does it matter which way I go? Oh, yep, that's closed. Acorn and a medallion. These medallions are said to be used to access an ancient pyramid. Collect enough pieces to gain entry to its chambers. You know, a map would be nice. Do I go down there? Probably. Oh. Yeah, just smash my way through. I guess. Or does that mean I died? Soldiers piloting leaf suits, which stands for leap effortlessly through air functionality, are known as pathfinders. Their ability to, ma to manipulate, life, mani uh, manipulate life with... Running speeds up to 110 kilometers an hour makes them a deadly addition to the battlefield. Yeah, I would imagine so. Just what 
are these glowing orbs that everyone is making a fuss over. They're absolutely beautiful. They seem to grow randomly throughout the valley. I know nothing about them other than that they are indigenous to this valley and that the army is using their energy for the war project. That's about as much as they'll tell me. <sighs> Such a shame. I wish they would just let them be. But, I suppose, it's the whole reason we're here to begin with. <coughs> you guys okay there? Falling to my death. Leaf Suit's quantum death functionality allows the user to return to life after dying. But life must be traded for life. The more you die, the more the valley will die around you until it's fully deadened. Without enough life in the valley, you cannot be revived. Give life back to dead plants or animals to revitalize the valley. Got some acorns. It's clear to me that the natives of the valley worshipped the giant tree here almost as a deity. Great lengths were taken to construct obelisks around this tree, which the ancients used to help grow it. I've begun to use the term Titan Tree to designate this species. According to my interpretation, once every thousand years, the Titan Tree will produce the mythological and famed life seed, said to possess the power to shatter the Anything else around the here? No wonder the military is so interested in this place. So that tree produces life seed? I... Uh, I would call this a... I guess it's kind of a puzzle game. Most pe um, Some people are calling it a walking simulator. It's also, it's got collectibles as you can see. And there is some sort of story. Um, to, like I said, it, it feels a lot to me like... Like a story about my uncle, if you ever... Uh, saw that so I would I guess kind of a platformer in a way those acorn doors are pretty neat Captain Hall ordered us to collect enough acorns to open all the passageways to sector 3 I'm about halfway there Sacred trees are common in mythologies around the world, typically acting as symbols of growth, decay, and resurrection. Some act as concepts, such as the World Tree Yggdrasil of Norse mythology, which provided a map for the composition of the universe, acting as a link between heaven, earth, and the underworld. But uh, more recently, the Christian belief in Christian belief, the tree of life represents the immaculate state of humanity before its exposure to original sin causing its fall. Okay, so we've got a tower there and a tower here. Oh, 
Oh, I'm getting hooked up on. So I want to get across there. And I don't want to fall in the water. Oh, well, that's really pretty. Don't fall into the creepy mouth thing. They seem to have coexisted with a mysterious forest sprite. I find loose hints of Mesoamerican civilization, such as the Olmec, with their renowned colossal headstone sculptures dating back to 900 BC. Strangely, the Olmec civilization was much younger and located no less than 5,000 kilometers away from here. And the tree just grew. So, what's the best way to get back? Whoa, oh, oh, don't overshoot it. Don't land in the water and drown. Oh, continuing up the ramp. Hmm, I guess it makes sense to go over here. Question, I think I have to go this way. Yes, maybe? Oh, there we go. By giving life to trees, there's a chance one or more golden acorns will drop. Oh, or a lot more. Actually, hugely dangerous. Uh, my mother would tell me stories of daemons as ghostly and benevolent nature spirits. That name seems fitting. It will have to do for now until a zoologist can classify the, for the forest sprites more appropriately. Right, so we're still climbing. It just grew a lot bigger. I guess I want to head that way. <clears throat> Oof. I keep an eye out for things to give life to. Such end times that 
scenarios are common across mythologies, from the apocalypse to Ragnarok. However, it's unusual for the event to surround a particular object, especially one acquired by mortals. Question is, why would... Oh, look at the size of it now. Question is, why would a life seed cause massive amounts of death? Kind of... Seems a bit counterintuitive. Seems to be lo is that it losing a lot of leaves? It's amazing this temple still standing. All right, so we go down into the root system, I presume. Ow. How did this civilization take hold so far north? The land here isn't arable, yet the population that lived here was clearly sedentary in nature. This leads me to believe this place was used as a sacred ground. Are these monuments to the mythical cannibal giants of native lore? The Saiteka? Upgrade, get to higher and further areas by double jumping with the Icarus boost upgrade. Each boost costs one unit of energy. Just my luck. First day on training run, and what do I run into? Oops. Beginning Pathfinder testing on the Icarus boost upgrade. The secondary boost augmentation to the leaf suit should allow a Pathfinder to jump twice in sequence through the air, decreasing the height and distance of their leap drastically. Report any defects to a commanding officer immediately. Okay. Just my luck. First day on training run, and what do I run into? One of those Amrita swarms they keep, kept warning us about in the briefing. The darn thing nearly killed me. Thank goodness I had enough energy to pacify the swarm. What on earth made them so damn aggressive? Hmm. What indeed? My jumping up here? Oh. Or not. There we go. Oh, come on. Really? Why? Why? Let, let me get up there. Nope, that's not going to be far enough. Oh, so close. And yet so far. There we go. That's better. Give me that sweet, sweet energy. 